Hello everyone. Um, day 29 and what a day it is. Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to every single person who is out there watching this in some way, form or another. Um, thank you so much for all the Christmas messages, um, donations that have come in today uh, or yesterday or any time over the Christmas period. So thank you so much to everyone. Um, thank you for me and thank you from the steed, the star of the show, um, who is my temporary Christmas tree, if you like, <laughs> at the moment in my hotel room. Um, so yeah, I am in a hotel room in Carlisle. Um, so yesterday kind of went all to plan. I managed to get myself to Carlisle. I managed to get myself to my uh, vaccination booster appointment. That's been a bit of a nightmare, getting a vaccination when you're English in Scotland apparently is impossible. Um, so I went to many, many uh, vaccination centres and got turned away, uh, managed to get an appointment booked in here, managed to get there yesterday and get a jab. Um, so that's fantastic. I feel a, lot, um, feel a lot better now of having that, a lot more sort of secure and reassured now that the uh, rising COVID concerns are coming in. Um, so that's out the way and that's done. Um, and I've now been able to have today as kind of a complete rest day. I managed to sort out all my kit and dry stuff, everything yesterday. Um, so that's all kind of ready to be repacked later on. Um, today I have nothing to do other than relax and keep in touch with family, say hello to everyone, say Merry Christmas to everyone, all that kind of stuff. So it's nice to have an actual day off the bike, just relaxing and switching off a little bit. Um, so apologies if I seemed a bit negative or a little bit down in some of my posts over the last day or two. Um, it's not intentional. Um, I think when you're sort of on a journey like this, your, your emotions go up and down all the time and they're massively affected by how your day has been. So, um, you know, if, you, if I've had a really long day in the wet and in the rain, um, your, your emotional, your, your ability to sort of cap your emotions gets get sort of pushed out of whack a little bit um so yeah sometimes you'll you you say something or write something that comes out sounding negative it's not um it's just it's more my way of communicating how um everything is kind of building up at the moment um if you if you sort of rewind this entire project right the way back to the start um i initially said that i had two months the whole of december whole of january booked off to cycle all the way around the coastline of the uk um it became absolutely crystal clear after the first week of Storm Arwen, Storm Barra, um, you know, that I wasn't going to make it all the way around the UK. Um, it's just not possible to cycle, well, as far as I'm aware, it's not possible to cycle a fully laden touring bike with all your winter camping stuff through storms, through bad weather, through headwinds, all the way around the 4,000 miles or more that is the coastline of the UK um, in two months. I just don't think it's possible. Um, so it very quickly became apparent that wasn't going to happen. Um, and once I accepted that, once I was quite happy in the knowledge that I wasn't going to get all the way around, um, I was able to relax a bit more. Um, it, it sort of shifted the goalposts a little bit and it became much more of a um, just let's see what happens kind of journey rather than a let's keep to a schedule and let's try and complete this kind of journey. Um, and I much prefer it that way. It's a much more relaxed approach um, and it's much more enjoyable. Um, so... The way I'm working it now, um, yes, I originally said I had two months, um, just so everyone's crystal clear, um, that two months, uh, the reason I said I had two months um, is because I had two months booked off work, uh, and that was assuming everything went absolutely to plan. So if the weather was right, if the uh, if my sort of physical ability was okay, if the if all the conditions sort of worked out perfectly, if uh, if I had good accommodation. Um, if we didn't have crazy bonkers storms coming through, um, if we didn't have another pandemic coming through, if they hadn't have suddenly found another version of um, coronavirus that, that everyone can sort of spread around. Um, you know, Omicron didn't really exist when I even started this, this project. So the amount of things that have changed, the amount of variables that have come into play um, has massively affected it. So am I going to continue for the full two months, you know, the full eight weeks on the bike? Um, probably not. And the likelihood is, um, after what I've been through, I've been through a lot in the past month. Um, I can't, when I actually look back at it, it's hard to remember everything I've been through. Some of the horrendous weather, some of the accommodation problems, some of the, some of the knee problems, um, you know, just the continuous, monotonous, repetitive nature of trying to keep cycling every day through bad weather, through conditions, through cold, through wild camping, you know, sorting out kit trying to negotiate accommodation, trying to get past, you know, uh, COVID restriction 
blockages and things like that. Um, you know, it, it's kind of been one hurdle after another. Um, so it's been very difficult to actually keep going. And I'm I'm so sort of proud and pleased that I've managed to be able to get to a month. Um, why is a month so significant? Um, anyone who's been on an expedition of any sort or an adventure uh, or a long journey, whatever you want to call it, will know that the halfway point of a journey, the halfway point of an expedition is an absolute pivotal moment. Um, and in theory, whilst I might not be going for the full two months, I had two months in my head as like the maximum. So reaching a month is is the sort of the tipping point. It's the peak, if you like. Um, so to, to hit midway, the halfway point at Christmas, that means anything from now on is in theory <laughs> a bit easier. Um, it means that I've gone past the point of no return. Anything I do now, I've already done worse. You know, I've, I've done four weeks already. Um, in theory, I'm going to have less than that. I've already done, you know, more than I've got to go. Um, so, so that's the way I sort of think about it. And it's like almost downhill from here. Um, anything from here, I've, I've already done it before. You know, I've been out for a month. I'm going to have less than a month left. Um, so in some ways that, that makes it a little bit easier and sort of feels like I'm closer to home. So that's a real pivotal moment um, to reach past a month. And whilst I didn't ever publicise it, I always said to myself that a month was going to be personally my, um, uh, what would you call it, my sort of um, benchmark, if you like. So if I'd made a month, I had done well. Um, you know, that was always a key point for me. Um, and anything past a month would be a bonus. Um, I didn't want to stop short of a month. That would that would have felt like I hadn't sort of broken the back of this journey. Um, whereas I felt if I got past a month, I've been away from home, from my family, cycling, moving, wild camping, staying with people, staying with different accommodation, uh, overcoming boundaries, fixing bits on the bikes, all sort for over a month. Um, and, and that's a real sort of key moment for me. Um, so anything as of now is an absolute bonus. Um, so... Uh, yeah, it has. The last month has been absolutely amazing. Yes, it's been difficult. Like I said, I've had all these challenges. Um, some of the things I've seen on my journey, some of the sort of um, moments of, of wildlife and nature, some of the sunsets and ocean views and panoramas, um, glimpses of, of nature that I haven't been able to catch on camera. You know, whether it's a uh, you know a buzzard or a, a sparrowhawk or something flying alongside me uh, i had a fox that i called charlie the other day because it was brown uh, it was running along in front of me and it would always stop beside me and it, it, as soon as i stopped to get the camera out it would dart into a hedge it was like a camera shy fox that was amazing um a red squirrel that ran across my path in front of me the other day um a huge deer huge red deer that sort of poked its head up uh, well i think it was a red deer big deer big antlers anyway uh, rudolph who knows um poked his head up behind a wall the other day and that was amazing to see that and these are all things that are are kind of personal to me I don't get them on camera I don't get to share them with anyone but, but I like that in a way that's because they're there for me um, uh, and I saw seals a few weeks ago that was incredible um, where was that somewhere near Middlesbrough or something saw some seals um, so yeah all those moments have been absolutely incredible um, and people the generosity and, and sort of charity or charitable nature of people on the way has been absolutely mind-blowing. Um, I've met so many amazing people, so many people who once they realise what I'm doing, or even before they realise what I'm doing, they, they literally go out of their way and do anything they possibly can to help me. Um, you know, whether um, you know, help me fix things, people who have um, pointed out camping spots, um, people who've advised me when cycle paths are shut, all kinds of things. Um, the hotel I'm staying in now, the um, I think he's like the caretaker of the hotel, um, he brought me an extra radiator and extension lead so I could sort of dry some of my kit and make sure it was all okay. And he's he's actually even spoken to the restaurant next door and sorted out a kind of Christmas lunch for me. It absolutely just, it blows my mind how kind people are at times. And I'm, yeah, truly humbled by that experience. Um, so I think all in all, the entire experience has left me feeling kind of, um, like I said, just completely humbled and absolutely privileged to be able to do it. Yes, it's hard work. It's, you know, it's been a, a tough time this last month. Um, but it's an experience I will never, ever forget. And I've done some amazing things on this journey and seen some incredible things and met some amazing people um, that I would never, ever have got a chance to do otherwise. So it has been amazing. Um, 
On top of all that, so thank you to everyone who's helped and everyone supported all the positive comments that people have been sending. People have been dropping me messages, people have been sort of commenting on posts that I've been putting, people have been replying to things, um, sending me messages and stuff. Um, all those com um, all those positive comments mean so much to me and they do make a difference. Um, anyone who's added music to my playlist, it makes such a difference to me to sort of know that people are thinking of me and going out of their way to do that. So thank you so much. It does make a big difference. Um, and donations, obviously, we are, I think we're about 5,400 or, or maybe even more now. Um, it's crept up quite a lot in the last sort of 48 hours or so, um, which is absolutely staggering. I think it comes to over something like 36 or 37 and a half thousand square metres of rainforest. Um, that That's phenomenal. It's not just the rainforest, it's the things that live in it. You know, whether it's jaguars or manatees in the mangroves or bird life, whatever it is that, that lives in that rainforest. And obviously the, the good that that rainforest is doing in terms of carbon sequestering. And it just blows my mind that that is something that, that I've been a part of. Um, as I've always said, I'm just on a bike ride. You guys are the ones that are doing the donating. You're the ones that have actually physically bought a piece of rainforest. That, that's you know, absolutely incredible to think that that's happened because of something I've had an involvement with. Um, so yeah, thank you to everyone. Um, okay, so onward, what happens now? Um, so it's Christmas Day. Um, as I said, I'm chuffed to have got this far. Where are things going to go to from now? Um, so I am going to try my hardest to continue to cycle as far as I can um, within the sort of boundaries of responsibility. Um, and by that, I mean, I know there is a rising COVID concern throughout the whole country. Um, who knows what's going to happen after today? Are they going to change the rules? Are they going to add restrictions if they start adding things in like, um, you know, no non-essential travel, things like that? That's going to really sort of cause problems. Um, as I've mentioned before, it's already caused difficulty with accommodation. A few people who offered accommodation have sort of cancelled which is perfectly you know acceptable I completely understand that um some campsites and accommodation I had spoken to have since closed because of covid restrictions or just covid concerns really um so that is making things a bit more difficult um but I have done quite a bit of research yesterday I've contacted a few people I've received plenty of offers um so I think I should be able to sort of join the dots between here and beyond the lake district uh, to try and work my way down the west coast towards New Year. Uh, my aim is to reach some of my good family members in Ellesmere Port uh, and try and get there for New Year. Um, who knows what will happen after that? Whether New Year becomes the finishing point, I don't know. Um, whether I'm able to continue into Wales, that could be tricky, especially if restrictions come in. Um, I really just don't know, but I'm taking it sort of one day at a time and one sort of benchmark at a time. I've reached Christmas, the next point to aim for is New Year. So. Let's stay focused and let's see if we can make things happen by the time I get to New Year. Um, as I said, we're up to about 5,400 and something on the on the um, Just Giving page. Uh, the target is 6,000. That's double the original target, which was 3,000. So if we're able to push things up to 6,000 before New Year, that would be incredible. Um, there are still a few sort of surprises hidden in the wings, if you like, um, for the fundraising. But... In terms of the sort of generic and organic fundraising that is happening while I'm on the ride, it's absolutely mind blowing that we have achieved sort of five and a half thousand almost. Um, so keep those donations coming in. If you're unable to donate, please do share. The sharing helps just as much as the donations. It's not just about the donations, it's about raising awareness. The more people that know about this, the further we can reach and the more rainforest we can protect. That is the essence of this project. Um, yes, I'm working very hard on my bike and I'm cycling around as far as I can, but the, the difference is made by the awareness that is raised by the people that are watching. So donate if you can, uh, share if you're able to, uh, and just tell people about it. Just say the word cycleforchange.co.uk. Let people know what I'm doing. At Cycle for Change James, tell them about the social media page. Um, just try and spread the word as far as you can. Um, so... All that leads me to say really is again thank you very much and again Merry Christmas to every single person out there following the project. Um, I'm going to enjoy my little Christmas drink and I hope you guys are going to have an amazing day too and I will catch up with you all very soon. Take care everyone, bye bye.